Hi, let's see Bootstrap. So actually two people in Twitter, I don't remember their names. Two people in Twitter have started a project called as Twitter Blueprint to use in their uh, this styling in their own uh, platform. So for example, for their own tools, they wanted something to be to have consistent look. So they have started creating this blueprint and later they have made it open source so that anyone can use it. Okay, so what is bootstrap is simple. So in bootstrap, you have styles for many classes. Okay, so this is a class and then there are styles for many classes like this. And then there is one more class and then there are styles. So like this, there are many classes and they have predefined styles. Okay. Now in your, in, in your project, if you are having a HTML code, now for some element, let us say div, you can say class equal to some class, some class name which is present inside bootstrap now automatically what happens is for that particular class whatever styles are applied they will directly get applied to your element so it is simple so using bootstrap is very simple so basically you are going to write your html normal html code and then for the elements you are going to give classes which are defined in the bootstrap now for every class already styles are applied all those styles you will directly get in your website okay so all that you have to know is in order to get what style which class has to be applied that you can check in the website bootstrap website they have given examples also i will show you so first let's see what are the various what is the building uh, this main structure of bootstrap so entire bootstrap is built on top of the concept called it is going to divide a row into 12 columns right and now you can see how many columns that each element wants depending on that you can write the classes for example here if the class is ending with eight it means that you are going to take the eight columns okay so till this part and then four means four columns. So like this, Bootstrap is built on top of the uh, 12 column framework, okay, or 12 column system. So entire row, all the rows are divided into 12 columns and you can use, uh, you can use the classes to decide which, how many columns that your element want to span and what are the styling for it. And if you look at a Bootstrap, it has already, for example, if you go to the buttons, so in bootstrap there is something called as components how to build each component and in the component there is something called as buttons and already there are a lot of buttons available so instead of doing your own button if you use bootstrap you will get all these kinds of buttons directly without writing any css code I, <coughs> apart from bootstrap there are many other frameworks like animate foundation skeleton ukit so UI kit. So there are many other frameworks, but most popular one is Bootstrap. So in the world, 75% of the people don't use any framework. They do their own styling. But out of that 25%, 79% are using Bootstrap, which means in the people who use uh, frameworks, they use 79% of the time they use Bootstrap. So Bootstrap is very popular. Even if you go for any job interview, so Bootstrap is going to be very important because most of them are using it. Okay. Now, for example, if this is the HTML code and uh, it is creating simply a button a button with the name home now if you don't do anything it is going to look something like this a button is going to look something like this which is not great but then if you use these classes which are defined in bootstrap all these classes all these five classes then your button is going to look like this and automatically for all these classes styles are applied and all those styles will directly be applied to your button okay so you can get a button like this so which looks good without writing any code 
So basically you are just writing the names of the classes and automatically bootstrap is generating it. And why to use a CSS framework like bootstrap is it is easy and fast to use. You don't have to write the styles. You can use already the predefined styles. And then it is consistent in styling, which means if you use bootstrap in all the web pages, all the web pages will look similar and it will be easy that I mean it will you can easily say that all these web pages belong to one company if you use consistent. So that is what is consistent styling and then good browser compatibility. So bootstrap code works on many browsers. So you have browser compatibility. You don't have to worry that in this browser it might not look good in this browser. So 99% of the browsers support bootstrap. So it is easy. Then what are the disadvantages? So disadvantage, one disadvantage is there is class, class bloat. Class bloat means your HTML code actually will contain lot of classes because for every class there is a styling, right? So you will be including lot of classes in the HTML code and it will look like this. So you have see this, all these green things, all these green things are classes. So more than your HTML code, these classes are present everywhere there are classes. So this is called as class bloat. But if that is not a problem, you can go with bootstrap. So actually the readability will decrease because of so many classes, but then it is fast. And then customization. You won't be able to do customization if you are going with bootstrap. Again, you have to write your own code. So you cannot build a website the way you want it. You can only use the components of Bootstrap and get whatever they have provided. So if you want it the way you want it, then you have to do your own, okay, without using any Bootstrap. Now, when to use it and when not to use it. So generally, if you want a mobile first uh, application, which means ma majorly your customers are using mobile, and if you want something to be designed for mobile and if it has to be fast, you want to design it in 15 days, then Bootstrap is the best. Uh, when not to use it. So when you are trying to build a website which is having lost lot of custom styling, you don't want whatever is there, you want your own styling, then you have to go with uh, without Bootstrap. And now how to use Bootstrap is, so basically, CDN. So what is a CDN is? So if you are here in India, there is a CDN, let us say in Mumbai. Okay. Now this CDN will contain the bootstrap code. Now whenever you load the web page, then inside that web page, if the developer is using bootstrap, then there will be a link for the bootstrap code which means let us say here there is a server and here there is the client and it is you first from the server client will get the web page which is nothing but the html css and javascript code now inside the html code there will be a link for the bootstrap code now it will go to the cdn which is closest and it will get that bootstrap code directly and that is how it will render the page and show you and this is very fast because the bootstrap code is present in the cdns not in a server which is far from you so if you are in hyderabad maybe mumbai is close to you right and if you are in kolkata there is a cd cdn in kolkata itself so like that you can go to the closest cdn and you can get the bootstrap code and it will directly load it and uh, style the style the website now let us see uh, in order how to use bootstrap we will quickly build a card from the bootstrap code so first let this is the bootstrap website so getbootstrap.com is the bootstrap website in this website if you go to docs or let me show you the cdn link so here, here if you see this, there is a CDN link, include a CDN link. Now you can copy it and you can put it in the uh, head of the HTML, HTML file. So let's copy this. So we have copied the CDN link for bootstrap and let's paste it inside the head. So 
so inside the head we have pasted it the link is present inside the head now automatically the bootstrap uh, uh, styles will be loaded when anyone who gets this html file when they see this link the browser is automatically going to get the bootstrap styles now let's go to the website now for example there is something called as docs now if you look at docs there are many things available here now go to the components you can build any component quickly for example go to cards so they have given what are all the cards available if you want a card like this this is the code that you have to include the, that you have to use and this code is already having all the classes that need to be included you don't have to write them right so similarly i, I want to show you examples there is examples in the bootstrap so if you go to examples they have given you see there are they have given you some custom already ready-made websites for example click on this so this is the if this is how your you want your website to look like you can copy this code you can directly inspect the code for example if, if i want this initial part this part i can click on right click on it and inspect the code and select this entire thing see where it is present yeah so it is present in this div in this div it is present now you can copy the element by division so we will see that later we will build the websites so like this there are examples given in the website and you can get directly this entire thing your website will look exactly like this if you if you use these templates already examples are given so now let's try to do one thing let's try to build a small card let's go to components so let's try to build something like this a simple card and then there is an image and some text and a and a button so i want to build it if you want to build this without a bootstrap it will take a lot of time three four hours you have to write the code but if i use bootstrap i can do it in three minutes right so let's see how to do it let's go to the website docs components scroll down to components and then there is card click on the card and they have given you examples which card you want let us say i want this card okay and then there is code here already the code is written in such a way that this will be created if you use all these classes you don't have to remember what classes to use also so already the classes are written here you can directly copy that code so let's copy and let's put it in the body of the html so here i have created one division called flex container and had and i have given a class called flex container even that is not required but still i have given it now you just paste it and see the preview you will get that card directly so you got some card similar to it but the image is missing let's give an image now let's open it in the browser once you will see that it is at the top left you can see that it is at the top left now i want to move it to the center and then move it to the center okay for that i will use flexbox so what i will do is I will take this container and I will style it so that I'm not doing anything. Styling is already done by Bootstrap. I'm just positioning it. For positioning, I'm using Flex, Display Flex, and I will give some height to it 100 VH, which means I'm taking the entire height. And then I'm going to write the code to just make it in the center justify content center and align item center now if you observe it if you see the browse now it has come to the center so designing this entire part has taken roughly i think three four minutes or you can you can also do in seconds if you have to design this particular uh, card and then put this button and and then see that there are the edges are rounded 
all this is going to take a lot of time without bootstrap so with bootstrap it just took three four minutes later we will build websites good looking websites within maybe half an hour okay so after learning bootstrap you can build any website in half an hour time thank you